Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you haven't already, hit the thumbs up button and that subscribe button and join the couch gang. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about the new dash cam I got for Christmas. So it's called the Red Tiger FN or F7N dash cam. Uh, my wife got it for me. Haley got it for me for Christmas. Um, you know, I came in, I knew nothing about it. I didn't expect it at all. Uh, it was just kind of like a super great surprise I got. Um, so I'm really happy. And this is like the kind of video that I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to show you how to install it, hide the cables, how to update the firmware, things like that. I'm not going to be going through every single camera feature. There's a ton of videos on YouTube, like showing you, Hey, here's every single option in the menu. I'm not going to be doing that. Most people that just are, you know, good with electronics or even, even half decent, just know what functions do and things. And, you know, there's plenty of content out there that is focused on that kind of thing. But here I'm going to be focusing on things that are not answered on the online videos, such as how we use, you know, the camera in a truck or like how you could place it in your truck, specifically an F-150 in my case, or like, for example, how do you update the firmware on the camera? How should you be doing that? Uh, you know, how do you hide cables? Things like that that are not answered in the other videos I'm going to be doing here for you guys. So let's get right into the components that the camera came with and the installation of, of the camera and how to update your firmware. So let's get to that. All right, your first step in this process is going to be plugging in your micro SD card in your computer, go into this website, download firmware, and then you're gonna make sure you're on your camera, which is mine is the F7N. First thing before anything, you're gonna check that you do not have one of these two versions. You're gonna go in your camera into the about section on your settings and see what firmware it's on. And if it's on one of these, you do not proceed. If it's not, then you can proceed. You gotta figure out which type you have. So the micro USB just has a USB that is is different. If you just have a micro SD slot with a Type-C USB port in the camera, then you have version one, that's what I had. And if you then have the other, then you have version two. So again, USB-C and micro SD card, then you have version one. And if not, the if you don't have USB-C, then it's the other one. So at that point, you're gonna download the file that is the correct one for your camera by clicking on it you're going to open the file location and unzip the file by clicking extract all and then extract to a different folder that should open up i already had the file set to replace then you can open that folder and simultaneously you're going to be opening the micro sd uh, drive you know that you insert in your car the micro sd and you're gonna drag those two just on over there and that's it. You're going to eject, right click, eject the SD and then we'll go from there at that point. So the next step here is that you're gonna take your micro SD card and you're gonna put it right in the camera while it's off. Okay, so now you're gonna plug your camera in. You're gonna press the power button shortly. The blue light will stay stagnant, the red will blink and then once it's done blinking, uh, it'll turn back on and the update is done. So in the kit, you're gonna get the camera, the main camera itself here, as you can see it. And then you are going to get this little piece here that attaches to that main camera and that's to attach to the windshield with some 3M tape. You are also gonna get the rear camera here if you got that and that plugs into the main camera through that aux port right there aux plug right there in that spot right there in this little kit you're going to get screws and a 3m tape thing that's to either screw in the rear camera somewhere or to stick it somewhere for this installation you're going to need the following you're going to need some isopropyl alcohol mixed with a little bit of water, maybe 70% isopropyl alcohol and 30% water. That's to clean the area where the camera will stick. And once you clean it, you can also just wipe it down with paper towel to dry it quicker either way or wait till it's dry. And then you're going to do the following three tools, a wrench with a 10 millimeter socket, a little bit longer socket if you can, it's easier to get the bolts that way. Then you're going to need the tool that came in the kit. It's that orange one there. That's a prying tool to pry trim in the car. If you are 
doing an install where you're going to be hiding the, the, the cables, that's very useful. And then you're also going to need some sort of tiny, thin prying tool. That's if you're doing the install in an F-150, then you're gonna need that little prying um, screwdriver in the middle there to hide the cables if you're gonna go through the handle on the right or left side of the car, the handle that um, you can grab onto for safety, not the door handles. All right, so you're gonna bring everything in the car and you're gonna have your camera and that little part I showed you earlier, you're gonna slide that into the camera there, right there, so we can have those things be one piece. You are then going to take this cable here, plug it in, and then you're gonna plug that into your camera through that little piece there. And that's how you're gonna power on the camera to make sure you're positioning it in a way that you like. So you can look at the screen while you're doing it and everything looks good, like so. Once that is plugged in, your camera will turn on and you're gonna use that to position it where you'd like on your windshield. And of course, like I said before, you're gonna use some isopropyl alcohol mixed with water and a little little bit of paper towel to clean it up. And then you're gonna be using 3M tape to stick it on. And as you can see, now that's stuck on there and I put it where it was using the camera screen. Now what I did here is I tucked everything into the glove box for easy install and I put the rear camera right up here in the center here. There's a nifty little spot on the F-150 and I explained earlier why, or at the end I'll explain why I did that. And here that is, simple install done. Let's look at the other way. Now if you're in a 21 to 23 F-150, you can hide the cables like so. You can take this part off and feed the cable. This is for the little camera, the way I did it. And you can kind of hide it all in there. Using that prying tool, you can get that all open. Once you do that there, you can push all that back in, making it look neat. And then at that point, what I did in my case is I did a little, little bit of uh, taking the car apart here. You can take that off and make sure you unplug that, which is the speaker uh, over there. And what you're gonna do to take that off is, let me show that. You take this little guy, you put that little um, tool I showed you earlier, the little pick in that little hole, and you pry that open, opens the handle, and then like so, and then you take the 10 millimeter, and you unscrew those two bolts there. Super easy, actually, came off super easily, and then you pull the whole unit off and unplug that speaker, and then you can run your cable in from there through there, and then I'm trying to show here, I tucked it in there, tuck, 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 and then it came through this way, and it already has a little holder, <laughs> super useful. Put it through there, and then I just kind of put it through the, the uh, weather strip by just kind of pulling it and tucking it all the way down to there, coming out, and then under here, let me try to get under and to show you guys. It's very it's very difficult to show how how low. So let me just get under there. And I tucked it in there and then tucked it behind. See, like that. All the way, tuck, 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 behind that plastic by hand. You can also try to use those little metal holders, but it was easier to tuck it underneath. Tuck it in there and then pulled it up through there makes it look super clean. At that point, you just put everything back together through the clips and kind of funnel it through there, how I showed, and put that guy back on. And all you're gonna be seeing is like that little piece of wire and that little piece of wire, which I think is, is great. And yeah, so that's how you install one of these bad boys. Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed the installation, the firmware update and all that different stuff I talked about. So one thing I wanted to mention is the camera placement. So I put the you know regular main camera facing front, but the rear camera, you could buy attachments on Amazon and stuff to make it like fit on your rear window. Mine opens, like the center opens up 
and closes so the camera would be opening and closing with it if i ever have to but i think it would like come off so you'd have to put it off to the side so you have kind of like a side view of it and maybe like play with the angles a little bit but i noticed that where I put it when I attached it in the front there, I noticed that not only that's a great place because like you can do all that cabling work I did, uh, you know, to hide the cables in there. Um, but also because you can got in the truck, when I look at the, the image, you can kind of get not just like your, your, you guys and the people in the back seats, but it, you can see like the back of the truck. So, um, I'm sure that blown up, you know, on a bigger screen, I'd be able to see if, if I needed to somebody walking or something like that. I mean, it's not as good as it being on the rear for looking at the rear of the truck, but I mainly wanted a dash cam to see the front of the car and then I actually like that I'm able to now with the rear camera not just see kind of like behind the truck, but also just like what's happening in the cabin, which can be important in, in some instances, especially like if somebody breaks in your car, um, you know, and, and you maybe you get the parking, you know, mode or whatever. Maybe you leave your camera on when you're at the store or something briefly. I, I don't know, whatever. Uh, it can actually record what's happening inside the cabin as well as getting kind of like a rear view. And um, I have been uh, rear-ended uh, recently, and no, no big damage. It's getting fixed. It's, it just needs a new bumper, and it's just got a few scratches. But they're doing a full replacement. But like in those cases, you can still see like what happened in front, what you were doing in the cabin, what happened behind, things like that. If you need the footage, you have it. So again, I hope you guys like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Give me a thumbs up if you didn't like it, or just a thumbs down. It's up to you. But hit that subscribe button. Join the Couch King, and I'll catch you guys later.